Welcome back. So the markets are spending some time around the flat line today. It's been that kind of a session. Nimesh, however, has had an exciting day because he's been, I mean, I think for the most part of it, at the Motilal Oswal conference. Yeah, he's still there joining us from uh, the, the scene of the action. So, Nimesh, I know you, you're going to get some guests with you as well and give us a feeler from the inside. But uh, let's talk about the dealing room chat up and what all are you picking up? Very range bound day today. Well, you know, yes, sir, you know, uh, first a bit on the conference, it's been well attended. There is a lot of uh, lot of buzz around as well. I've managed to pick some lot of chatter as well from, from many of those, uh, you know, fund managers. But broadly from a market point of view, uh, it's been a bit of a quiet day of trade. The Nifty is pretty much range bound, but it's the broader markets which is relatively outperform and that's where the action seems to be. Even from a, from the in, at the conference, the, the mood seems to be more, uh, you know, biased towards the broader market structure. There are a lot of, uh, lot of interest, there are a lot of meetings also going around uh, at the Motilal conference, largely in the mid and broad cap, mid and small cap sector stock. So that's been, the, that's been the key, uh, you know, key takeaway so far, the day one of the conference. Even, you know, there are a lot of themes now which have been talked about. Uh, the same was the case in the MK conference as well last week. Look at some of those, uh, you know, themes which have done well today. The, the EV theme is doing good. But uh, recycle as a theme has, has been talked about very, uh, very much for the last couple of days. And many of those stocks have done well. The likes of Gravita, the likes of Ganesha Eco, all are buzzing in trade. So th that, again, you know, as I said, there is a lot of uh, interest in the, in the broader market and a lot of themes are, 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 is well been discussed. Uh, from a flow perspective, uh, there is going to be a small MOC basket buying is what I understand uh, towards the end. So maybe last half an hour we'll see uh, some impact in the non-nifty stocks uh, from a flow perspective. But broadly, uh, while the market's been, Nifty has been consolidating, there is a lot of interest in the broader markets today. Nimesh, you also said that you picked up some chatter while you were there. So tell us a little bit more on individual stocks, some tidbits. Well, Rima, you know, the big theme seems to be blocks. You know, uh, there are so many indications of large blocks coming in, or for that matter, large blocks which have been done today. So the first one is Zygal. We saw a large block that blocked, blocked it in that particular name. Nearly 4% equity got changed hands. I understand uh, the, the venture capitalist was a seller in today's block. So disclosure is really quite interesting. Second, a couple of large blocks expected in, in, in the next few days. One is, uh, uh, one is Zomato and the other one is Interglobe. Both have highlighted in the past that, you know, maybe you'll see large blocks for Interglobe, the reason being uh, the, the Ganwal lockup of five months has got over. So now anytime the block can come, and again, Ganwal could be a, a potential seller in that, in that particular block. And again, there is going to be a 150-day lockup. That's been the trend in the past blocks. And even, even for that matter, in Zomato, there has been a strategic investor who's looking to sell a large block in Zomato as well. So again, that, there could be a potential block there as well in the days to come. The other large block which is going to come and it's potentially going to be a clean out trade uh, is going to be in Kalyan Jewelers. Again, the private equity uh, investor has been a seller in the past, but now it looks like it's going to be a clean out trade in Kalyan Jewelers, which can come very soon. So that's again a large potential block to track. Uh, the other, uh, from a flow perspective, couple of stocks. First is Trent. Uh, while you know, everybody uh, argues about valuations and the way the stock has doubled in the last six months, even at these levels, I understand there are block bids and some large global funds are looking to buy into Trent and they are looking for, for blocks as well. So, Trent has been buzzing largely on the back of very strong buy flows from larger global investors. And the, uh, the other one is uh, Hero Motor Corp. The management was at the Motilal conference as well, spoke uh, about, uh, about the outlook and, and they were quite confident about the next few quarters. But again, from a, from a flow perspective, I understand one of the leading long only fund was an active seller in uh, Hero Motor Corp. That's largely over. And now I understand some domestic mutual funds are looking to buy as well. So that's the reason why even Hero Motor Corp is buzzing in trade today. Okay, all right. Uh, Nimesh, have fun. <laughs> and we look forward to the next conversation, uh, which uh, we're going to come back to you for in just a bit from now. Lots of blocks and uh, why not, right? Markets are uh, buoyant. Uh, Interglobe, Zomato and others as well. Web of Sun